All right, so today I took out two of my uh, old Fosgate HX2s, 10 inch, from my vehicle. Here's the other one, and here's another one, but that one I painted because it was all messed up. So I went ahead and bought this Cubon box, installed this uh, Fosgate, and it's connected to my uh, surround sound um, home theater system. Here's the main uh, stereo system here, the surround sound, and to power the the subwoofer, I'm using the JVC, an old 1990s JVC receiver. Um, and then over there, right here, I'm using another uh, subwoofer. This is a 12-inch JV JBL JBL 12-inch. This is for the home theater system. It has its own amplifier, but to push. The Fosgate, I have to use this JVC receiver. I have the Fosgate connected uh, to an 8 ohm load <clears throat> so it won't burn out the, the receiver. So let's go ahead and play a jam. We're going to play Mask Off by Future. And let's see how this sounds. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Sorry about that. So that shit sounds amazing. Shit slams. And if you can see, I even tore up the paper. But that shit sounds amazing. And it's being underpowered actually by the JVC. JVC is only about 100 watts, 110 watts per channel. So I'm guessing this this uh, this Fosgate is getting about 110 watts, uh, clean watts. And that shit's banging. And along with the JBL, when I'm watching a movie, home theater on my home theater and I'm watching a movie like uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong yeah this shit bangs makes the whole house shake so so there you go guys just wanted to show off a little a little uh, setup that I have at home I know you know, Q-Bomb is not the best box out there but shit I only paid 70 75 with shipping actually 80 with shipping uh, and it goes well with the, for the Fosgate so it sounds great uh, my local guy was charging me over 200 for a custom box and you know, just don't want to spend that much just to get a little base. But this box here is perfect. So, guys, appreciate it. And you guys have a great day.